Welcome back, Pontiac High School students. This is a lesson on political parties and what they do. It's kind of important to understand their function when we talk about um, making laws and enforcing laws in our country. Now, the purpose of a political party, once upon a time, Vincent Lombardi, a famous football coach, once said that winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. Now, Lombardi was, of course, talking about football at this time, but we find that in politics, the same applies. And political parties are the teams, and they exist to win elections. That is their function. Now, what is a political party? Well, a major political party is a group that hopes to control government by winning elections. Political parties exist to win elections. And the U.S. has two major political parties today, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. These are election-oriented parties. Their focus is to win elections. And in case you missed that, the purpose of a political party is to win an election. There are, however, other types of political parties that try to shift public policy instead of winning elections. We can look at those as well. But first, let's look at what these parties really do. Political parties are a link between the people and their government. It's a way for everyday ordinary people, you and me, to impact our government. We do that through our political parties. Uh, they make the government more accountable to the people because they hear our voice, and uh, or at least they're supposed to. <laughs> um, and parties can unite a country as well because they mute the voices of extremism on both ends of the political spectrum. Political parties realize that in order to win elections, they need the support of the majority of people. And so major political parties do not generally tend to support extremist points of views. Now, to affect government, political parties have to nominate candidates. Um, the major role of this party is to pick the person who will run for political office and then to help them win that election. The nomination of candidates is exclusive to political parties. Uh, you can run as an independent, but you're not likely to win any elections as an independent. It does happen sometimes, but most people, if you're going to win an election, it's going to be with the help of a political party. Now, political parties also exist to inform their supporters. They gain support for uh, their candidates show them in the best possible light, and sometimes also criticize the positions of their opponents. So political parties are both uh, weapons and tools. Political parties inform voters by using advertisements, bumper stickers, pamphlets, the internet, speeches, and all other forms of propaganda to do so. But they're very effective at doing this, informing the population of their particular views and wishes. Political parties also activate supporters. Uh, both major parties want to win those elections, so informing the public about what they want to do and how they share the goals of the population is an important way to do that. And parties shape their candidates' positions and message so that they attract as many supporters as possible. You'll find that if a political a uh, candidate has views that are not all that in line with what the public wants or thinks or believes, they're not going to talk about that issue very much, and they're going to redirect conversation back to those issues that they believe in and the public supports. That's how they do that, and parties will help them to craft that message. Political parties are also a bonding agent. Um, they try to ensure that quality politicians remain in office. Uh, they support candidates who are qualified for the job and have strong moral character, or at least they usually uh, support candidates who are qualified for the job and have strong moral character. That's uh, how it's supposed to work. Um, candidates who lack the support of a political party rarely win elections, although we certainly see instances where they have such a populist message or they manage to incite a special degree of hope or fear um, that they can break through uh, a lack of real party support as well. Governing 
is uh, one of the actions of a political party. Um, it, the U.S. government is a government of political parties. The candidates need the support of a major political party to win an election. Uh, so those candidates who are chosen usually reflect the ideals of the party. Um, you're not all that likely to see a Republican or a Democrat get nominated by the Republicans or Democrats without at least speaking in a way that excites the issues that are important to the Republican and Democratic parties. Um, this has played a role in creating partisanship in many le legislatures. You, you get people who are so strongly Democrat and so strongly Republican who are nominated to positions in government and get elected and then sometimes are less likely to to reach compromises and to understand that there's a middle ground because in the end they have to be renominated by their political parties. A final thing that they do is they act as a watchdog. The party in power right now, that's going to be the Republican Party, usually has a greater say in public policy because they control the executive branch. The party out of power is your watchdog against the power of the opponents. So the Democrats we're going to see over the next two to four years um, are really going to be mobilized in making sure that there is no abuses of power, either in the executive branch or legislative branch, and doing everything in their power to slow down the actions of government when they strongly disagree with those actions. Uh, Republicans did this while President Obama was in charge, and they did this very effectively. President Obama was not able to do most of the things that he wanted to do. When they are back in power, the opponents will become watchdogs. So this, this role is true no matter which political party is in power or out of power. But that is an important uh, summary of what political parties are and what they try to do. Thank you for joining me today. Farewell.